but we are having a conversation hapa on how exactly digital content creation works digital content msikia if you're someone who's making content online on youtube on instagram facebook twitter and you're trying to you know grow your brand and you know get more audience how do you do that what kind of challenges do you encounter how do you monetize your content is a conversation i'm having here with innocent who is joining me on set and i'm the guilty one so i'll be sitting on this side and uh, we have a very good conversation welcome to the show thank you so much so let me watch up here you know wambia any content creator here <laughs> yeah so to all the viewers watching us today karibuni sana we are going to just take you through the steps of content creation the challenges and how to monetize it right yeah. you are a content creator yourself yeah i'm a content creator with six six years experience so i've been this is a long time bro yeah, to do content content yeah but i started now as a production assistant mm. then grew to discover now uh how to now do the content in the right way mm-hmm. so ideally the basic the basic steps when creating you want to start to be a content creator is number one, you just have to do research mm-hmm. so research is where you go have coffee just brainstorm on the ideas that you want to create because there are different types of content let's say you want to do how to do makeup mm-hmm. how to cook uh, like you're telling me maybe a uh, fish mm-hmm. how to do cbc I've, mm-hmm. i've seen that is one of the growing nice. content yeah nice <laughs> yeah. so when after you've done research that is the inception stage of the the content creation mm-hmm. then you do the research you discover the title that you want then you discover also when do you want to post this content mm-hmm. who are your target audience because there are content that are for ladies there are content that are for men and there are content that are for the entire yeah. household yeah mm-hmm. then after you've discovered who are your target audience you move into the stage and say do i have the resources that i need to do this content so this is where now you ask yourself if your camera is okay or your phone is okay your sound is okay or if you're doing a blog what are the stories that you'll be writing in this situation mm-hmm. after you've discovered the the almost the resources that you have now you go ahead and look now you say i'll be posting this content every monday or every tuesday so you come up with a social media calendar just to ensure that you keep it for consistency and being yeah and, be, and being consistent is one of those things that is very key yeah. in uh, producing content yes yes how different will you say digital content is from any other content um i'll give comparison from with with the tv content TV content is longer to say uh, you find that maybe it can take 30 minutes mm-hmm. because the slots are always 26 minutes 4 minutes break mm-hmm. but for digital content the lifespan of someone watching the viewing span of a, a viewer mm-hmm. is very short so they want you to summarize the 30 minutes story that you had into a 5 or 7 minute story mm-hmm. so that is the key difference then the use of graphics maybe for digital content it's very key if you just mix graphics you you mix so many things that mm-hmm. maybe on the other side you on don't you won't be possible yeah. right yeah mm-hmm. now when you started content six years ago yeah. and right now yeah. what uh, how would you say the the you know the environment looks like okay ideally when people six years ago you everyone just had a youtube channel but we didn't really know what to do with it to be honest but at uh, this particular time mm-hmm. i can say covid has taught us in a way that we went a lot to the social media to s- search information mm-hmm. and this gave a platform for content creators because now every everyone was pushed to the social media site mm-hmm. which was now like a market now a whole market, a whole market. millions of uh, people, viewers yeah. yeah now you can put your content there mm-hmm. so the uh, if you ask me like six years ago people didn't know how to monetize content mm-hmm. but right now people are driving cars they are building homes through content right and they are raising families and they're just content creators yeah so before we get to that conversation of um, monetization what platforms can someone put their content digital content mm-hmm. and expect to eventually monetize okay um first we have facebook 
and uh, it's surprising that people don't know statistics about Facebook but believe me there are 8 million Facebook subscribers within Kenya currently that is the statistics that was held mm-hmm. last mm-hmm. so you imagine Facebook gives you 8 million, 8 million people, people. Mm-hmm. then we have Instagram Instagram we can say also much much as the number because once you have a Facebook page it's almost automatic that yeah, you can link to your to Instagram. Instagram yeah then there's Twitter Mm-hmm. So Twitter then there is TikTok. So let me just break down the difference. Mm-hmm. For YouTube, you'll have to do videos that uh if you're not verified the tick, you'll have to do videos that are 15 minutes and less. Mm-hmm. For for Twitter, nowadays they've improved at least you can put 1 minute, 2 minutes video. Mm-hmm. For Instagram also, unless you you're doing shorter clips, mm-hmm you'll be limited in a way mm-hmm. then for tiktok is uh, 30 seconds per se one minute per se mm-hmm. so this is just uh, i'd say facebook and and youtube are giving people the now the the platform mm-hmm. to do longer content uh, longer content is allowed on facebook and and, and youtube yes yeah 15 mm-hmm. minutes mm-hmm. that's that's enough for some <laughs> good content yeah yeah unless you're shooting a wedding <laughs> but you can also if if uh, you see you are having an interview that you did if i, I was interviewing you mm-hmm. you have a re- have a really nice story mm-hmm. so you, the best way is to split the content into part 1 and part 2 mm-hmm. yeah. so that you can be able to fit it into the time slot you're located yes uh-huh. so you'll put 15 minutes part 1 15 minutes part 2 mm-hmm. so YouTube is really helping because it also give you tutorials on how to do how to some do things. things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So how does someone monetize content on these other social media platforms? I there's a conversation yesterday that happened um that some there are some people who receive a lot of money per tweet. Um, I tweet out something gets a lot of engagements and I get money. Yeah. Um there's also of course that uh, brand uh, influencer yes. work that is happening across social media. Yeah. How, what are, what are the other ways there are? Okay apart from uh, influencing influencing is one of the major revenue I think collection ways mm-hmm. for a content creator. The other ways is involving sponsors for your content. Mm. There are product placement methods, there are mentions like just the commercial way the commercial way we do it on TV. Now you can do it Digital on social, social media. media. Let's say for example I'm doing this show about family. Uh family it's a family setup show. So what are the kinds of products that can be placed in between the show? Mm-hmm. So we look at the fast moving consumer goods. So these are maybe the soaps mm-hmm. the nini so they are they are placed strategically within the so the, the set content you can you can get you can see it, you can well. see it. Mm-hmm. so with a good con- a good contract with the manufacturers it's easy to earn your money mm-hmm. then there's also mentions for example we are shooting live from Kenyatta University mm-hmm. let's say Kenyatta University was a new institution it mm-hmm. wants to market itself mm-hmm. if i'm having 1 million subscribers If I say I'm shooting at I'm shooting from Kenyatta University mm-hmm. it is easy now to market Kenyatta University and that is also a way to generate revenue revenue mm-hmm. yeah. nice let's get to YouTube which is one of those places one of those uh, places we've mentioned yeah. and very critical because that's where most of the digital content creators have their channels yeah how does one start making money on YouTube because sababu mostly um, sometimes you hear someone only on a YouTube channel sasa pesa iko wapi google google where is my check <laughs> yeah. up to the point where google sends you the check yeah. what, are, what what is this what how does that steps what do those steps look like okay first is uh, having a very unique content mm-hmm. then two is ensuring that your subscribers reach the the targeted limit which is 1000 subscribers mm-hmm. then you need 4000 watched hours mm-hmm. and uh, when mostly people here about 4000 watch hours they don't really get it it means like 4000 people watching your content for a full hour ah yeah so that's what it means it doesn't mean uh you aliona 3 minutes 4 minutes to ziongeza ongeza ongeza so hiyo uh, accumulatively ukizieka zote zikifika 4000 watched hours it's fine ah so that was a simple breakdown if maybe your church members are 4000 you can just ask them to all watch your content for one hour, one hour each. then you ah, start then you getting it. Ah, yeah. nice, nice. another thing that uh, another way of getting monetization is also through product placement 
product placement is almost the best mm-hmm. way to monetize your content mm-hmm. because it doesn't limit you you know like the platform can't limit you as well to place yeah. anything on your set yeah mm-hmm. then um, you you don't need now the watch time to to get the check True. as long as you have a good co- a good contract you have a good content you know how to like blend the product with your script that is one way of monetization mm-hmm. yeah nice now by the time you get yourself 4000 watch hours and uh, you have 1000 subscribers yeah. so at this point you can get into youtube's uh, creator program i understand yeah how, how does that uh, youtube uh, check work like uh, what would you lisa how many views do i need does one view equal to 1000 bob or how does it look like that uh, what happens on youtube creator when you you've joined that now the other side now mm. for monetization mm. is uh, they w- the more your content is watched the more revenue you, you stream in mm. however you are only paid when your revenue is $10 ah. and above so it will be counting so you'll be seeing people watching your content and you'll be seeing the dollars gaining the mm. dollars gaining so when they reach $10 that is when they start paying you a mm-hmm. dollars rather $100. yeah that is now when they they give you the check mm-hmm. so you might have content when it's two dollars they they won't pay they you for that mm-hmm. so what what is advisable is when now you've entered the partnership program now it's now the time to put more content than before ah. because now, now you you've, li- you've reached the limit now now you're starting to earn now you have to prove the more views now you have mm-hmm. the more ah the more you earn there. yeah that is interesting to take a look at how do we then distribute how do how have you been distributing content and how would you uh, how would you advise is the best way of making sure you know as you had told me before we came here uh, is that content creation is you can create content yeah. but then up to the point where you need to distribute it yeah. it it hits a it hits a block how yeah. does how does someone like yourself uh, do it and how would you advise it peter one one of the simplest methods of just distributing content is doing collabs or interviews with the people with numbers mm. so if you have a huge following if i interview you on my show i w- i will have now spread the content to your viewers mm. number two is uh, whatsapp is really working good because if you have uh, 2000 contacts and you send each one of them that content that you've created for that particular day you have 2000 views and if they watch it it's amazing mm-hmm. then there are also someone told me that um, she had boarded a matatu to kisumu mm-hmm. uh, and on her way she had uh, 300 subscribers mm-hmm. but on reaching kisumu and coming back to nairobi she had 700 subscribers mm-hmm. how so did that happen she was doing that by word of mouth so hi richard while traveling yeah hi would you please subscribe, subscribe to my to channel ah. so i think so th- those are the things that we are ever afraid of mm-hmm. like you create content but you your, da- your dad your dad is not even su- uh, subscribing because you've not told them mm. so i realized in content is you have to persuade people to watch your content mm-hmm. because people are very busy so you have to like hey richard please just watch this is amazing content for you mm-hmm then the best way is if you want it to be easily distributed is now the captions or the titles that you put so the titles that you put if they are in favor of search engine optimization mm-hmm. it's even easier for you because content like how to how to content is easily picked by search engine easily engines. picked mm-hmm. so you have to look for those terms that of course go to the title yes that will put your content uh, yes uh, then in between the the settings before you publish that particular content there are tags mm. tags that you put so tags help someone who was almost searching something but ends up lands mm. on your on your particular mm-hmm. page so i'm um, then the use of bloggers you really have to have a team of bloggers mm. that you 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 work with that they can share your your content mm-hmm. because they have a, a huge audience. number mm-hmm. yeah than you nice nice that is so interesting and exciting to hear mm. but of course there are challenges in digital content creation yeah. from copyright infringement to raising capital to start to getting equipment yeah what are some what are some of the most notable ones that are unique to digital content creation um 
I'll start with the most recent cases. Uh, I think I saw Jana Major was complaining that his song had been pulled down again. Mm. Yeah, so they there was like in Anadia. So the list is long mm. for almost those big stars that their song have been pulled down. Mm-hmm. But if you ask why are the why are oh, their the content pulled. is mm-hmm. pulled down mm-hmm. is because they sampled someone else beats mm-hmm. audio or lines mm-hmm. without their permission. Mm. So ideally if you copy someone's content and you even copy the music the the background music mm-hmm. it's an infringement to no yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the best way is uh, when you're creating content YouTube allows you to use YouTube Creator Studio. Mm-hmm. So within YouTube Creator Studio there are like 3000 to 5000 free songs. Mm-hmm. So I'm believing like if we just peruse through the 5000 songs track, of course that you can use a track yeah. to use. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the other challenge is uh, people are not really appreciating content creators especially the the the, the upcoming ones. Mm. And I'll be honest with you that if you have less than 50 subscribers and you go to someone to interview them they will not even turn that yeah, they'll turn like you down yeah but again i'll come to the quote that uh, your guest was reading mm-hmm. strive to not uh, not to strive to be successful but strive to be of value mm-hmm. so i'm feeling in this case it's rather you have 50 subscribers but your content is Has worth value. a million value Ah. rather than have a thousand subscribers but what you're putting for us uh seen a beef <laughs> like loyalty test mm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, right. yeah. you, you have you have views you yeah. have half a million of views per yeah. video yeah. but the content in the video is not of value yeah. so you're successful but no valuable yeah ah. then the third uh, challenge is uh, i have some artist friends who there's one who got like 500,000 views from mm. his music but apparently he wasn't he didn't even pocket a shilling why so i guess the the their their agents or brokers or cartels mm-hmm. in this now the youtube industry mm-hmm. um then they are the streamers are, i can say the streamers mm-hmm. so there are people who give you a contract that if you don't read well may It now even tie your hands you. yeah mm-hmm. Uh, for example you add like uh, naiboy was saying he has like a thousand songs mm-hmm. but he can't release can't get uh, can't release them because the contract is against He's him tying him completely mm-hmm. you see so those are contract is very key especially in in content creation because uh, people just see their content but they don't see that contract mm-hmm. being harmful for example there's someone that uh, did an advertisement Uh, and the advertisement as it, it the contract was stipulating that after this after recording yourself the client may be free mm-hmm. to use this uh, the, the content the content that you created mm-hmm. to whatever platform they wish your content mm-hmm. yeah so people would need to read the fine print inside the contract so yeah. that is information of course that uh, yeah. is relevant to you as a digital content creator yeah Ah nice. Now, digitize or oh, monetization of uh, content has um of, of digital content has been something that has happened in the last few years yeah. and it's growing. There's a lot of young people out there who are putting out content. There's a variety of content. Yeah. And um people are saying that or the notion or the view is that this will outphase traditional media. Um I remember sometime <laughs> When Twitter Spaces was uh, just starting yeah. uh, there was this time there was a space that had 40,000 or so mm-hmm. uh, participants yeah. and what was said oh ah radio will ne- radio <laughs> is dead um <laughs> hey, radio at easy get those numbers we'll be doing this but kidogo kidogo spaces yeah. elisha yeah. i no longer see spaces <laughs> uh, i don't see a lot of people <laughs> there is always that conversation will this phase out tv will this phase out traditional media mm-hmm. how do you feel Okay one uh, I would like to say uh, Kenyans are a very peculiar audience mm-hmm. because uh, this week they are following you next week they are not following you this week they are this week that that famous series now is trending next week, <laughs> next week it's not <laughs> it's not <laughs> so for traditional media I'll say it's it's there to stay mm-hmm. only that social media is there to blend mm-hmm. in So you need to blend it in yeah uh-huh. whatever didn't fit on the news can fit on the social media mm. and again ask yourself we are in Kenya 
is the connectivity rate for electricity everywhere across the entire country because if the electricity connectivity rate is low that means there also there's no internet mm -hmm. available at that particular place mm -hmm. so if you say radio will <laughs> face off until we reach a, a place where we all have wi-fi free zones mm -hmm. like other countries have that is when we will be talking about that scenario that physical but uh, that's that this moment. particular night bado. No, bado, bado. <laughs> <laughs> right yeah. and now digital content is um, not something everyone you know has has naturally yeah. is there training that people should do? do should they go to school to study how to create content how to edit how to produce um, or is it something that people can learn on their own yeah yeah it's something people can learn uh, then if you you have now the passion and want to be certified mm -hmm. there are various institutions and also site uh, like google is giving free digital marketing and strategy mm -hmm. certificate after you complete the course and the exams mm -hmm. then this is if you have if you just have a camera and you have audio because uh, ideally what is important in content creation if you're doing videos is the audio and the video mm -hmm. so if you know how to do your content nicely in a, in a place where there's no too much noise mm -hmm. then you kn just know how to position your phone or your camera mm -hmm. you're good to go however the nitty gritties that you must learn especially for editing mm. <laughs> that, especially yeah mm. <laughs> editing graphics those are technical aspects that you really have to learn mm. it doesn't take so much time if you have the passion to there are people who learn like premiere pro for a week mm -hmm. there are people who take months mm -hmm. however i'll advise someone to do it slowly and if maybe you you do you don't want to edit longer you can do videos that just ensure that you do the list amount, list of amount editing. Edit, editing just ah, putting the captions just straight cuts and putting in captions yeah so if that is where we are in digital content in the country and you said the audience in kenya is very peculiar very strange uh, in how they shift with what they like yeah what content will you say kenyans love the most lifestyle check <laughs> magari uh, and, and and as a follow-up to that question if i see that lifestyle or yeah. or um, cars yeah. or homes is the most preferred content should i attach myself to that type of content and look for content and research on that or i be unique and try and bring my content until it's accepted it's quite a dilemma but what's yeah. your take then <laughs> so first of all i'll say kenyans love drama so whatever content brings drama be it mm. political be it family wise be it from music mm. they have they love the drama aspect of the content mm -hmm. for example for loyalty test i'll use it uh, sorry mm -hmm. but loyalty test they are almost like six channels mm -hmm. doing the that same thing it now. and they are all having views mm -hmm. but again if you you look at other content types mm -hmm. they are content that are, are for for a smaller target audience mm -hmm. yeah then um, your second question was uh now should someone attach themselves to this type of content the trends or just come with your own thing unique thing no matter what that is and just try and put it out there okay i'll uh, i'll answer this in a oh, after you when you are starting a channel I'd, I'd prefer that you upload maybe three different types of content mm. shorter ones mm. then you go to youtube analytics maybe over a month then through youtube analytics it will show you what content is being most watched within your page mm. so let's say uh, i do a content about i'm doing a content about shengdaro mm. so shengdaro is where i'm i'm just uniting the kenyan youth through the shanks in different woods mm. then i do the second video i say how to cook chapati mm. then the third i put a content on relationship issues so i'm having three types of content mm. i upload them maybe within the same week then i monitor i i monitor this content and see mm -hmm. after one week which one is having the highest views and which one is not having the 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 views mm -hmm. so the one that is gaining most views means is the content that people appreciate mm -hmm. you know but the the one that is 
gaining the least views it's either that people like it but the the production bit of it and the execution bit of it wasn't at par with what people want mm-hmm. so that is also another dynamic then to answer just your question in a very nice way I'll just tell everyone to be versatile because mm. if you were to be limited within one content space uh, let's say if you're doing entertainment and you are doing events at night when covid came all clubs were closed yeah Which so your channel might die yeah <laughs> what do you do at that particular right. time so you have to be versatile and in a way that you do interviews you do events you do you, you just do as many things as possible mm. and through that you'll be able to just know which ones are working all ah, right yeah uh, that is quite an interesting conversation that i've loved to have here uh, with innocent matter now maybe as we wind up what do you feel is there is there a trend that you see digital content creation will take into the future now that you know last year covid came it can change kila kitu we got tiktok for short form content yeah. and then you know previously watu wako na stories uh squeezy there's stories everywhere yeah. uh, there were fleets on twitter and they failed but uh, you know there's always that shift in how people watch content kitambo yeah. Watu walikuwa na watch short IG videos yeah. Yeah. when comedians came in then we started watching them on YouTube we went back to TikTok to watch funny people yeah. kitambo we were on Facebook watching shows is there a, is there a trend you can predict in the future uh, one of the trends I'll predict in the future is Kenyans love trying out things mm-hmm. so in the, in the coming future expect the rise in number of small digital content creators mm. like everyone now nowadays is almost a content creator mm. so number two is also the shift in competition the competition now is rising because you'll find that uh, there, there are famous people who have been doing content but i'm seeing other channels rising and mm-hmm. out mm. out doing them, them. Right. yeah so I'm, i'm expecting in the near future for I'll say quality content. Mm-hmm. Kenyans are if you if you look at the script that people are doing nowadays, mm-hmm. the movies, the short films, the short films, mm-hmm. maze the growth in scripting mm-hmm. is it's tremendous. amazing. It's amazing. It's yes, amazing. It's amazing. amazing because more people are learning yeah. and this doing this is something you can also learn on those platforms if you yes. don't know how to do a youtube channel you go to youtube yeah. and search how to do a youtube channel yes and eventually get that information <laughs> someone out there already has tried to do it yeah. and uh, you know you can get to learn from that any last words mr innocent uh, on on digital content creation before maybe we wind up uh, i'll just say that uh, corporate are embracing the sheng language in advertisement so if you can just curate content that has a mixture of sheng english swahili the audience right now is ripe mm-hmm. and also i would just ask everyone out there to follow my youtube channel oh yeah we didn't get talk about that what's your youtube youtube channel and what is it about so i'm 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 doing i'm having two youtube channels currently mm. one the one that um, my name appears on innocent matara mm. is, is more of a continuation of what i was doing before covid mm-hmm. so i was doing a show called hood life where mm-hmm. i could go to every hood and and get the latest shang mm-hmm. so i decided to because after watching on my channel i i just uh, I, personally i was doing now content for others but i'd forgotten mm-hmm. myself mm-hmm. so on going back to youtube i realized that the content that i uploaded two years ago mm-hmm. is still the best watch content to, to date oh. and that was shang nice so i realized this is this is something that i could just do that mm-hmm. so i i took that Mm-hmm. then they, there's also another one that it's called thriving kisses mm-hmm. it's not it's not like um it's being tribal or something mm-hmm. kisses what thriving <laughs> well, it's thriving. like the rest are not thriving <laughs> <laughs> no they are, they, are, they are thriving lures <laughs> my friend is doing a thriving lure mm, but YouTube. you're focusing on thriving kisses yeah so i want to tell documentaries about at least kisses goosey people who have just done something good to mm-hmm. the society but i'm using their stories to mm-hmm. motivate Others. others who are there yeah mm-hmm. so very soon i hope uh, you get to you'll, one you'll be on board <laughs> <laughs> yes thank you it's, a, it's an invite i received on my show yeah so, I'm, so i am a thriving yeah 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 <laughs> i made it <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah right 
Also something you mentioned interesting <laughs> before we close up yeah. is um analytics. People don't get to take a look at how is your if you're posting something Facebook, you should take a look at the back numbers. There's yeah. numbers on how many people you've reached, yeah. um or how, what how are they performing, the areas that these things is being watched from. Yeah. And also, didn't get to talk about uh promoting. You can promote your yeah. your content. Yeah. How, how is that done? Maybe as we So I'd say uh for for promotion basis you can you can use you can you can pay facebook or youtube so youtube is adsense then facebook you pay via facebook uh, advertising mm. um, manager mm. so you'll have ad- advertising manager this is now where after you've paid either via pa- paypal mm. or facebook has done something great you can even sponsor via mpesa mm. yeah directly through mpesa yeah. and it's Yes. Ah. So you can boost that. Then on the analytics part of it is this is the crucial point mm. where if you've given someone work mm. to advertise something for you, just ask them for that. It's mm. downloadable actually. Okay. Then you the, the good thing about Facebook is now it's about it's it's statistics that can't change. Mm. So this is where you see that my content was watched between 0 and 2 minutes. So between 0 and 2 minutes mm. What is this this that I said or I wrote that made people watch? Ah, all right. So you go back and see this is this was the climax mm-hmm. then the this graph like, fell. Ah. Yes. All right, Asante sana. This is, this conversation we can't really have it in one sitting. Yeah. Uh but bless hope that we can develop it later on when yeah. we do another video yeah. or a, a couple of more to kujetu yes, And yes. then we you know we bring in some more questions that Asante people sana. have asked by then. Sana sana innocent. Thank you for driving KC next to me here <laughs> on <laughs> the show. Taking another break, alafu na rudi na conversation ya magari. We've been having this talk for the past uh, one month now. Captain Manu is joining me on set. Anieleze, ni nini watu wana 